Welcome back. On today's show, I'm not only gonna show you my public NFT wallet, but I also want to take this time to thank Generative Dungeon. They were so kind to gift me and my team three of their awesome gameplay NFTs, which I'm so grateful for. And just so you guys know, when I do get gifted NFTs, I do not sell them. I will be gifting two of the NFTs they sent me to my team so my team could actually play the game. And I'm gonna do my best to play the generative dungeon game as well, hopefully time permits. But let's go ahead and take this time and talk about this awesome project utilizing the Ethereum blockchain. I'm gonna disappear from the screen really, really quickly so you guys can see all of the dope NFTs that I have, but I kind of wanted to show you guys the generative dungeon NFTs for purposes of this video because we are going to go ahead and cover the game. So they sent a dungeon seven, a dungeon eight, and a dungeon nine. Let's take a look. So this is going to be the dungeon seven, and it's basically artwork that you can play. This is the seventh NFT of generative dungeon series, a collection of iterative interactive dungeon themed NFTs. Touch or click the viewpoint to interact with NFT. To play in full screen, click viewer generative dungeon.com. So what's really cool is like, I can go ahead and click. Oh my God, these are so, so, so cool. So I can actually go ahead and click and my guy moves. Oh my gosh, this is so, so cool. Oh my, oh my, okay, where am I going? Where am I going? This is really, really cool. Um, I don't wanna spend too much time doing this cause I can sit and probably play forever. Um, but I get to go ahead and actually get like, pick up different pieces. Um, it tells you about your health. This is giving me like Zelda vibes, which I absolutely love. And I'm so glad I went half screen. Anyways, let's take a look at some of the properties. So my character is a gnome, levels 50 to 99. Scroll none, 56% of these have this trait. So we wanna look for kind of rare traits when you know investing in NFTs, et cetera. But I just like the fact that I can literally play from OpenSea and I think it's awesome. So down over here is gonna be the tile set. It's 32, 32. So 22% have this trait and start dark dungeon, 22% have this trait. So I guess the more rare things are the gnome and the levels. Um, we kind of talked a little bit about um, generative dungeon, but it's basically artwork you can play, which is absolutely amazing. I love that I can play kind of directly on OpenSea. Like this makes it really, really easy to participate. All I gotta do is plug in my MetaMask. Um, oh yeah, I can go through here. Oh no, there's a giant bat. Let's, oh no. He's gonna get me. Okay, I'm gonna stop playing because I'm. he's gonna get me, he's gonna hit me, and I don't wanna lose my stuff. Oh no, oh no, oh no, how do I kill? Anyways, <laughs> back over here, let's go ahead and head over to viewergeneratividungeon.com. All right, so this is actually gonna be where you can play the game more if you want to without being on OpenSea, I guess. Um, so if you wanna do so, you can go ahead and do it. Um, but I wanna go ahead over to the website. So this is gonna be the Generative Dungeon website. And that was actually really, really fun. I didn't expect it to be like that interactive, but I love it. And again, you guys you need to make sure you have a MetaMask or whatever. Um, and make sure you're utilizing a ledger, cold storage, et cetera. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about um, Generative Dungeon. So it is a collection of playable procedural generated NFT dungeons, and they are not just collectible portraits, you can actually play them. It is a mini game in itself. So each time you purchase one of these NFTs, you can actually play them like right away, which you guys just saw. Um, or you can play on the website, OpenSea, or upload the portrait to your social media profile like a traditional NFT, which that is really, really, really cool. And um, basically haunting the Ethereum blockchain this December, we are in December, so they're there. Let's take a look at their Twitter page. Their Twitter page is super, super small, but that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't matter. I think the game is actually really, really awesome. And I'm looking forward to seeing them grow and thrive because it's just so, so cool. And then of course you do need to join their discord. They're going to be doing a lot of really cool things over there. Plus you get to connect with other folks in the generative dungeon ecosystem. Uh, minting sign up. If you're interested in minting, you can go ahead and do so over here. Make sure you sign up. And then down over here, here's a sample of the different dungeons that they have. I believe mine is kind of similar to this, but if we go back on OpenSea. I want to see the other ones that I have. Let's see, let's see. 
All right, so if we go back to OpenSea, we can see um, dungeon number nine over here. You click to begin. I'm not gonna play this because I don't want to um, die because I do need to give these to my team because they're gonna absolutely love it. But anyways, back over here. So there's just base, each NFT is like a little mini game in itself, which is so, so much fun. Um, if you wanna buy a dungeon, you can go ahead and do so here. They are stored as ERC721 on the Ethereum blockchain and each one costs 0.07 ETH, which is actually pretty, pretty cool. Um, also to you guys with the dungeon traits, here's some information. So they have eight unique tile sets, 20 avatars, 50 monsters, 24 um, unique starting zones, 10,000 unique dungeons, 10 unique starting scrolls designed for instant time lo load times, floors up to an infinite number of floors and play on the website or open C. And the cool thing about this project is the gameplay was created prior to the actual NFTs, which is amazing. Over here, some important things to note. Um, they set some targets for themselves during the launch. They have five airdrops to random to random dungeon holders after mint. Um, five or more airdrops to random dungeon holders, 20%. Private Discord for owners opens. Um, generative dungeon liquidity pool announcement. Um, limited edition merch store announcement. Five more airdrops to dungeon owners. And the blockchain hash is recorded and used to see dungeons, images are generated in playable mode is unlocked. So. I'm really excited about this. This is fun. And then of course they've got some other things coming. Um, winter of 2022 will probably be the best. They have play to earn port playable with generative avatars compatible with both generative dungeon and generative quest. Make money directly from your dungeons, rent them out while you sleep. That sounds fun to me. And then they have a generative quest and generative avatars, but I really like the play to earn aspect here. And currently they're pretty affordable at the, at the current price. And then as far as the team dungeon, this kicked off by the dungeon master, lead artist and programmer. He wanted to create an NFT collection entirely like anything else out there. And I really feel like this was completely, completely amazing and unlike anything else. And I kind of vibe that he's the destroyer of mayonnaise. Don't judge me, you guys, but I do like to dip my sandwiches in mayonnaise. Anyways, um, another cool thing too, is you can actually play these on your mobile phone, which makes things amazing. And they have spells and all kinds of fun things. Okay, so overall guys, I absolutely love these dungeon NFTs. They're super, super cool. And just so you know, a lot of times when I create project reviews or I decide to do demos, I try to do them like fresh from the cuff. So I didn't know that these were gonna be that interactive. I read like about it. I went to the website, obviously did my research but I didn't know they were gonna be that interactive. Like I just thought like, okay, like whatever people post stuff about NFTs all the time on their websites, but they generally don't really do those things. But the fact that I can play it on my mobile phone, I can play it on OpenSea, on the website, like whatever, I think it's absolutely amazing. I think it's a lot of fun. I'm excited to be a part of the dungeon community and I might just pop in the Discord. But again, thank you so much to the team for sending me and my team these NFTs. I know um, the guys are gonna absolutely love it, appreciate it. And if you guys want to play me, go ahead and comment below. We can start a battle or I don't know how that works yet. We'll figure it out together. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching and big, big shout out to the dungeon team.